Hi guys, Chris with Microsoft here with a uh, quick little note with Windows 8 and SkyDrive. Um, previous episode I was looking at moving around some libraries onto some removable storage and I was uh, running a couple different problems so I thought I'd hit another quick little thing here. If you've been out on the forums trying to figure out how to move a SkyDrive folder, you've probably been told a million times, oh we'll just come in here to the SkyDrive settings and click unlink SkyDrive. Oh, fail. Yes, yes, that would be a uh, uh, great out button. So that's not going to work. Okay, so I've uh, I've not wanted to unlink uh, from my Microsoft account. This this would be a real pain in the in the backside to do because uh, unlinking the account is is kind of a pain. Oop, uh, let's see if I can keep from breaking my computer in the in the process of showing this off here. Uh, a Microsoft account is kind of a new thing inside of Windows 8. It's uh, it's more or less a connected account. We used to call it Windows Live ID. It's now called Microsoft account. Microsoft account is simply a way for you to sync some settings, and uh, I'll I'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second. If you're if you're curious about it, we'll talk about what these uh, little guys right here mean. Uh, but for now, let's just let's just address the issue with that whole uh, can't sync settings. So we're going to do this together because I haven't done this before. But uh, what I think we should be able to do is actually go to SkyDrive. And then I should have a list of linked accounts after after my slow hotel internet connection gets here. So if I come over here to Sage Davis Twist, that's the computer that we're looking at right now, and um, it should fail to pull documents off this because of the current firewall settings. But what I've got here is a disconnect PC from SkyDrive. So I'll click on that and I'll say, yeah, go ahead and disconnect that PC from SkyDrive for right now. And I'm going to cancel out of these. I'm going to go into SkyDrive, Manage Storage. Oops, that's not the link I wanted. Settings. Hello. Settings on SkyDrive. And yeah, it looks like I broke it. So, um, should now that it's unlinked, as soon as it kind of picks up on that whole thing, we should be able to. Yeah, there's the folder. It's showing synced. I don't know how long it takes exactly for this to uh, uh, to catch up, so that we can reinitiate. Maybe we just exit SkyDrive altogether and let this whole thing bomb out. And SkyDrive. Okay, SkyDrive has been removed. To use SkyDrive on this, clicks OK to set up SkyDrive again. However, I'm not going to do that quite yet. Here's why. I've got all these files, and if, um, if SkyDrive thinks that I suddenly uh, deleted all my files, it's going to delete all those files from SkyDrive. I don't want to do that. So again, in the previous episode, um, in a previous episode, you saw me move all of these files, uh, or I'm sorry, I, you saw me attach a, uh, that's what we're getting ready to do, gosh, this is totally ADD today. Um, you, you saw me go through a process of adding an SDHC card into a mount point on this uh, drive and it's right here. And this is where I actually want my SkyDrive to be. This isn't the real pictures folder, that's just one that we were using for illustration purposes. So I'm going to um, really quickly go ahead and paste all of these files out here. So try to get that to stay put. Alright, so we're going to cut and we're going to paste. If, if you didn't see me do that a second ago, we're um, we're looking for all the stuff in my old SkyDrive folder under user CH Davis SkyDrive. I'm going to cut all of these files and I'm going to paste them out here into this SDHC card. And that obviously is going to take a few moments because I think there's probably about 20, eh, like 15 or 20 gigs worth of stuff. And even though it's a class 10 card, it's going to take it a couple of minutes. This, by the way, while we're looking at it, is what we call Copy File 2. This is version 2 of our file copying utility. Uh, this has the ability to pause and resume. It can resume even from uh, network failures if you're copying from one device to another. It'll stack them up. It's got a great conflict resolution. Um, 
capability if you were to uh, run into a file with a lot of similarly named files you can actually see a bunch of thumbnails and then a whole lot of things like it'll be bold on the one that was last recently uh, modified and the one that's larger and things like that will uh, make it easier for you to make decisions about what files need to stay and which ones need to go. So I'm going to pause the video until this, uh, this process finishes and then I'll resume and we'll continue with remapping SkyDrive here. Okay, it just finished up and uh, and dropped away. So we'll continue by clicking OK. So as you can see over here, the SkyDrive folder is actually empty. The SD card folder over here um, that we did the redirection on earlier is back online. So we'll click OK. We're going to say get started. Let this guy go sign me in. So we're going to change. See, it says your SkyDrive folder is here and we don't want it to be there anymore so we want it to go to so hoping it would be up there it is there we go sky drive and since i cut and pasted that folder everything should be able to do a quick sync and i won't have to uh, run through a process of having to, re it'll just rehash everything. It'll just do a quick rehash and uh, make sure that all the files are exactly what it was expected. So I want to sync everything. Uh, I'll check the box even though it won't work on this machine, but there we go. And so it's re pulling hash on there, all that. Now that a cool thing is my SkyDrive folder here, when I click on it, you can see is now actually remapped to the SD card and in the past when I would go into the users folder I'd have a uh, SkyDrive folder right there this was where everything was in the past now I've moved it here which of course once again is actually that SD card which we created a, uh, a custom reparse uh, or a volume mount point uh, to a little while ago looks like it's still doing its little hash comparison but the good news is is that uh, we have moved SkyDrive without having to unlink my ID, my uh, domain connected account in this case, uh, my, my domain connected account means that I have a domain account just as you've had forever um, which is also connected uh, through the Windows Live account or the uh, Microsoft account which is what we used to call the Windows Live ID. You can do this as a uh, non-domain joined machine. You still have the ability to do local user accounts without joining to the domain and not have them connected. Uh, but the default, if you do a just scratch load of Windows 8, is to give you a domain connected, I mean a, uh, a uh, connected account, which just logs on with your Microsoft account, formerly known as the Windows Live ID. Um, and then you can also combine that with machines that you have that are domain connected. So you could have your home computer, which is maybe running Windows 8, uh, which is formal, you know, this not uh, very, very similar to what we used to say with Windows 7 Home. We don't have a Windows 8 Home, we just have Windows 8. And um, so you could have a standalone machine that's connected with your Microsoft account. Then you could have a domain joined computer account, which is just standalone or user account rather, which is a standalone. If your IT department allows you to, you can connect your domain account with a Microsoft account and then your settings will sync. So I go in here to settings, I go say change PC settings and this is what I was getting at earlier. So these are the things that get synced for me. I can sync my personal settings for color, background, lock screen, uh, personalization from the desk uh, tops uh, theme. I can I can sync passwords. Now that doesn't mean I'm syncing my domain password, and that's what's going to scare a lot of IT departments out there, thinking that we're syncing scary things. These are not normally what we consider to be um, uh, high priority. Now, if you work for the Department of Defense, that's a different story. In most cases, you're not going to see anything with the word password on it synced. <laughs> You'll see that turned right off. Actually, in their case, they probably won't allow do uh, domain connected accounts. Uh, but what's really being synced here is like if you if you record the password for your home um, uh, wireless network on one machine, then you don't ever have to put that on any other machines you're connected on. 
you you simply have it stored uh, as part of your your profile in the cloud. So you come uh, join a Windows 8 machine, join a uh, Windows 8 uh, enterprise machine that came from work. When you bring it home, you'll notice that your password is synced. Uh, that also works for websites. So like if you've saved your bank account password, which you should not do <laughs> inside of Internet Explorer, that would sync. Uh, most most good banks do not allow for the saving of, of uh, those kind of passwords. But let's say that you've saved like your um, your H honors, your Hilton honors uh, passwords, like I have. So that's gonna that's gonna move from one machine to another. Uh, and language preferences. We've got our app settings. So anything that's a full screen app, and we've got settings like my remote desktop connection manager, uh, da -da -da -da, right there. So my little remote desktop connection manager. I have some settings that are saved for my remote app. Uh, if I come over here and look at the settings for those, I also have my go down to the bottom. I've got my remote desktop gateway saved here as well. So. Uh, those would be app-based settings, my browser settings, other Windows settings, like how do I do my mouse if I'm a left-handed uh, uh, left-button mouse person or a right-button mouse person, that kind of thing could be saved. So these are the things that are actually being saved as part of being a connected account. It doesn't matter if it's domain joined or not. All right, so jumping back to the desktop here, looks like uh, it's going through and doing the hash compare. It's not doing a full sync up uh, as far as I know, and so this should get done probably within 10 or 15 minutes. Usually it takes about eight hours or so with the amount of stuff that I have uh, uh, saved in there and the fact that I'm on crappy wireless because every single week I'm at a different hotel. For instance, uh, this week I'm in the wonderful city of Dallas, Texas. I'm actually in Irving in a, in a play, home to, home, close to one of our home offices in uh, what we call Las Colinas, uh, Texas. So staying here a little too close to DFW, the hotel I'm at, uh, has <laughs> been had its bandwidth uh, sucked all up by the DFW connection, so uh, not a lot of bandwidth getting out of here on my little Verizon jet pack. Uh, I guess all the people who are landing are uh, using that bandwidth, but anyway, that's uh, that's what takes that so long, so... Yeah, go ahead and send that information off. Uh, anyway, th guys, this has uh, been Chris with Microsoft. If anything that I've found uh, or have uh, have uh, shown you here is in any way useful to you, please take the moment that it takes to uh, give me a quick little like and the thumbs up button below. Also, if you would like to check up on my blog, that is the number 9 uh, followed by the letter Z dot com. Really easy to remember. It's got also links to my LinkedIn and my Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc., out there. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for listening.